Love Kiss the 99 and I'm coming to you today with a DIY. I have been searching all over the place, online, just everywhere trying to find a jeweled out denim jacket. I'll phase in a couple pictures of the ones I found that were way outside of my price point. So I said, you know what? I have a craft drawer here. I have a denim jacket that I don't normally wear. So let me try to snazz up my own. So I went ahead and I distressed and bejeweled my jacket myself. Stay tuned for the footage of me showing you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. You can pick up everything you need from the craft store. But yeah, I wanted something a little snazzy, something that I could kind of put together myself. And it's been a while since I've done a DIY on my channel. And it's time for the DIYs to come back into play. Because I know you guys get tired of seeing hair and hair and hair over and over and not much else. So I'm going to be back with my regular DIYs. Now this jacket, I did distress it on my own. And yeah. I wanted to do something that's a little bit snazzy, something a little bit more dressed up. So I went ahead and made my jacket myself, kind of put it together. I found this jacket at the thrift store for I think it was maybe five bucks and it's a perfect fit. So I said other than the jewels, that's all it needs. So let's snazzy this baby up. So stay tuned for the footage of me doing a DIY distressed and jeweled denim jacket. Stay tuned. So here's everything you'll need. This is a cardboard insert, which we're gonna insert into the jacket. These are the jewels that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Gratefully, they were half price, and these are the larger jewels. So we're gonna snazz this jacket up with these. And here is a case of even smaller jewels that you can kind of sprinkle throughout. I did mine and I didn't go crazy as far as putting on so many jewels. But as you know, you can make this as snazzy as you want. This is the E6000 glue, which is perfect for all crafting. And then we have our X-Acto knife here, which we're going to use that. I bought one that had a cover with it just so I'm if I'm going to put my hand into my craft drawer, I don't cut my hand with this thing. And it does have a really sharp blade. And then I'm using one of my smaller knives. Just be careful with any knife that you use because they are sharp and you don't want to end up cutting yourself. This one is a small knife that I had from Cuisinart. So now I'm just going to insert that cardboard into the jacket so when I'm using the exacto knife I won't be cutting through to the other side of the jacket so now we have the cardboard in place and now we're just going to go ahead and get started I wanted to zoom in just to show you how easy it is to use that exacto knife in order to cut basically really tight strips into the jacket but you'll see it and it's really pretty easy so now I'm just going in with that exacto knife and I'm cutting left to right right to left as long as it's horizontal you won't have a problem and I'm cutting the little area really close together I'm hoping that you can see that really clearly and you can go as big or as small as you want. The further down you go with that X-Acto knife, the larger the distressed area is going to be. So I didn't really want to go too crazy with a big hole because this is really my first time doing this. And I wanted to see how it was going to work. 
I wasn't really sure, but I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and try it. So now I'm just using that knife to scrape away some of that blue color. And if you want to get really precise with it and have your distressed area just white, you can use a tweezer to kind of pull out those blue threads. But to me, distressed is distressed. It looks like it's been worn. So here you get a little bit of that blue out when you use just the knife. As I stated, you can use a tweezer if you want to get a lot more of that blue color out. You can do it this way, which is also, it's more time consuming than using the knife, but it still works. And I really didn't mind that I pulled some of the white threads because the whole idea is to make the jacket look worn, to make it look even more comfy. I just didn't want it to look new. I wanted it to look distressed. So I just pulled out some of those threads and you can also go in with a pair of scissors, which I think I recorded that part to show you how you can cut those threads. And that's as difficult as it is to create distressed areas on your denim. You can also do it on jeans because as you know, you see all the jeans now with the knees that are out. All you got to do is cut them and do this same process. So that's my first one. I just wanted to show you how you can do it. I didn't record doing each individual part, but here's another area that I did. And I'm moving a little faster here. I just repeated the process. Super, super easy. Why pay so much money for a distressed jacket when you can have a jacket of your own and distress it yourself? So I did add a couple more. And toward the end, I did do them on the arms as well. But this is just a plain piece of like just a piece of paper that I had laying around like a little piece of cardboard. And I'm just going to put that E6000 right onto it just so I can work with it a little bit easier. As I went on, I decided to just work right from the tube, which that's easy as well. But you'll see all of that coming up. And I just used a pair of tweezers in order to pick up the jewels. It was really easier to just do it with my hand and just place them on. But some people don't really want a little bit of that um, E6000 on their hands. So you can kind of just dip the jewel right into it. And the E6000 is great because it's waterproof. And once it cures, you're not going to really have a problem with your jewels falling off, whether you do it on denim or on cotton, on wood, and any surface really works really well with E6000. And again, you can find all of these items at your local craft store. The jacket, as I stated, I got from a thrift shop. So I threw it in the wash, washed that baby up, and then I said, let me just go ahead and jewel it out and distress it. And as you see, it's kind of difficult with those tweezers. You can always pick it up with your hands and do it that way. Yeah, that jewel is fighting me. <laughs> and I just randomly placed the jewels down. If what you want to do ahead of time is kind of place your jewels exactly where you want them on the jacket and then glue them down, you can certainly do that as well. And I'm just pressing it down. And here's me. I just decided to speed things up a little because to watch me do it one by one that would have just made the film entirely too long and here I am using the glue directly from the tube and just placing a few spots of it down onto that denim then we're just going to lay those jewels right on top just make sure that you press them down so that as the glue is curing that jewel is going to adhere to the denim And I'm hoping you had a chance to see the beginning of the video. The amount that you pay for these distressed and jeweled out jackets is crazy when you can just use a jacket that you already have and jewel it out yourself, distress it yourself. Why pay that small fortune for a jacket 
when you probably already have a jacket and can pick up the jewels at the craft store. So again, super, super easy. This is one of my absolute favorite DIYs. And with that jewel there that you see a little bit of that E6000 coming out from underneath, that's going to dry clear so you won't even be able to see it. And I didn't want to really leave the buttons, you know, with the look of brass. So I pulled out some of the round jewels just to cover those brass buttons and you'll see how I do that. I just put a little bit of glue down and glued them right on to the little brass buttons. Then we got a little extra bling going on. This was just so super easy and super inexpensive. I just had to do it. So I let the glue dry for just a few hours. I didn't really have to let it dry overnight. I would suggest that you leave the garment laying flat, whatever it is you decide to jewel out, leave it laying flat and give the glue a chance to cure. So you have your buttons covered and I did also cover the little brass buttons on the pockets and you can go hard if you want to. You can put these jewels all over in the back, down the arm. I just basically did mine across the front and on the collar. So now that part is all done. And I did decide to use the smaller jewels from that other pack to just line the pockets just because, not for any particular reason, just because. So I did them on that side and I'm going to show you real quick how you do it on the other side of that pocket. And I just went ahead and put the E6000 down right onto the garment. And I just started placing those jewels right on top of it, dried perfectly, just super, super easy. And as you know, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments area and I'll help however I can. I did a DIY, I think it was last year or the year before with some Swarovski crystals on a beanie. And I still have that hat and I absolutely love it. So again, this pocket is almost done. And like I said, you can go crazy with those jewels. And here's the finished product. It really is a cute little jacket. So if you decide to try it, please don't forget to let me know how yours turned out. And that's pretty much it for right now. So I'm hoping you enjoyed the return of the DIYs to my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome evening. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.